channel Lupa. my name is louis from keep official i'm here to tell you that i have a brand new preset pack launched on my website keepofficial.se so be sure to check it out link is in the description today's video is a tutorial to make sure you get the most use out of these presets as possible sometimes people have the wrong understanding of presets and how they work because uh, it's not always a one click fixes everything all too many times i see or i've even bought presets and there's no video or anything explaining how to use them to make them look great on your pictures so shall we jump into it let's go so in front of me i got some pictures here to make it a bit more fair i've not taken this particular photo because i'm gonna pretend this is a photo you might have been taken so it's nothing i've personally adjusted to fit these presets if you know what i mean let's see here we got faded crisp faded earth faded gold faded cobalt faded strong faded teal and orange fall strong xl like super almost kind of halloweeny because it's very orange i think i'm actually gonna go with the faded gold one because i like i think this is my favorite in the in this preset actually so if i pick this faded gold right here you see what happens you can see the before and the after we take away those yellows a, a bit we make it a bit more orange browny kind of so what you will see with these presets are the exposure and contrast are not i have not touched those because those set, settings are the ones you want to adjust to fit your picture so if i just go here i might want to turn down exposure make it a bit bit more moody turn up the contrast a bit and i mean there's basically not much i need to do here before and after i mean as simple as that it's not much you have to do it's minor adjustments often it's just exposure contrast if you want to deep dive into a couple more details we can go into actually the detail i want to add some sharpening i often go like 30 a mask here so not everything is sharpened only like the outlines of everything if you hold alt i think it's option on mac let's use this slider you will see much more clear what you're uh, playing with here if you want to play around with the temperature make it colder or warmer that's up to you i'm just gonna leave it for now lens correction so let's say i took this photo i would probably enable the profile correction here and it would automatically select the lens i've taken this photo with fix distortions of the lens if there's any at all sum it all up this is what you need to do with any preset you use here you would adjust the exposure contrast you would probably go into the detail play around with the sharpening and noise reduction lens correction to correct all the distortions or uh, chromatic aberrations yeah that's pretty much it transform maybe and prop it to your liking and then it's done easy as that moving on let's try another picture and uh, same thing here i have not taken this photo uh, i actually kind of like this photo once again i like this faded gold one is there's something just makes it glowy all over the picture compare it to how it is from beginning and then the gold one let's try another one for the sake of this video faded crisp maybe same here exposure and this is really contrasty so i would not add a more contrast maybe i would even up the shadows yeah maybe something like that detail i think this one is already set here so you can just play around with the masking just to get edges correct uh, lens correction i would enable that i mean yeah pretty much before and after and this was the faded crisp one imagine you had like 40 50 pictures to edit and number one maybe you don't even know the style yet you want to go for see how easy it is to just pick faded strong here adjust the exposure dial in the contrast Go down to detail fix the masking maybe a bit of a noise reduction oh yeah here you can see this picture i actually took myself so this is already enabled profile correction if i take that off you can see the distortion the lens makes so it just corrects that makes it look a bit better rotate it scale it boom done then you can play around with mask and stuff and that's a bit more advanced but that's up to you totally what you want to do let's put a, a bit of an exposure here maybe i want to make it a bit darker here see what we can do okay so before and after here we go another picture this one's pretty cool fall strong xl it's a bit over the top sometimes but sometimes you can really make it work let's try to make it work on this one up the exposure don't think i need to play with the contrast here maybe make it a bit warmer maybe you want to turn down the highlights right here Play around with vibrance if you want if it's too strong for your liking 
So up until now, we've only really touched on like nature pictures. So let's try to get into like more city photos and let's see what we can do with these presets. Like I said, these are kind of teal and orangey. Totally up to you what style you want to go for here. Maybe we want to go with this teal and orange. Up the exposure, up the contrast if you like. I'm actually going to make a linear gradient here. Up the exposure, the shadows a bit. I mean, there we go. Then of course you can be creative and play around with the masking. But you can also just keep it simple. Pick a preset, adjust the exposure and the contrast, crop the picture to your liking and, and that's it basically. Let's try another one here. We can go really over the top with the strong XL if you want. Or you can go with the strong maybe. Up the exposure a bit, up the contrast. Maybe I want to make this side darker. See the before and after. Might want to turn down the vibrance if you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also choose a whole nother style here. Let's try the faded earth one and up the exposure, up the contrast. So maybe I want to turn down the shadows a bit. And there we go. I mean, it's so simple to edit now. Just pick the preset, pick your exposure and contrast. You don't even have to touch the other parts, but you can just crop it to your liking and move on. It's so simple, guys. And here we go. Another picture I have not taken myself. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's try the cobalt one. Actually, want to turn down the exposure on this one. Turn up the uh, contrast the shadows a little bit same here you can just play around with these linear gradients make that darker maybe you want to focus people's eyes against i don't know this area here up the exposure a little bit then you make another radio filter right around here you invert it down the exposure down the shadows masking is a whole nother thing maybe i'll make a video on that some other time uh, let me know in the comments if you want a video on that here's the before and after so just like that, it's so simple to use these presets. And like I said, it's not a one click fixes all, but it's a couple clicks fixes it all. Just make sure you grab these presets. And if you don't want to buy the preset pack, there's free presets on my website too. So make sure to check that out. Keep it visual.se. That's the website. You can find it all there. You can find prints. You can find my work. Thank you so much for watching this. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be dropping more videos in the future. So be creative and stay consistent. I'm out.